Hey guys, it's your girl Deanna here from Femme Fatale Fit Club. I am back again with a very, very popular topic and I, we, we just got to talk about this, okay? We just got to talk about it. What is the difference between fat loss versus weight loss? All right, so I posted a video of, I think his name is Syat, in um, a couple of my fitness groups where he basically shows a bottle of apple cider vinegar and he's shaking his head and it basically captions, this does not burn fat, okay? It caused somewhat of an uproar um, in the groups because people are like, well, I've seen results and I, my belly went down and I'm seeing results and da 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 da, I've lost some weight. And they, they missed the point. <laughs> they missed, they completely missed the point. So, let me just say this first. Fat loss and weight loss are not the same thing, okay? Now, if you have some fat loss, it might result in weight loss, but it did not necessarily. It's not a one for one and it's not the same thing. It's not synonymous at all. Let me break it down why. Fat loss is when your body composition of liquid or water, fat and lean muscle and skeletal, skeleton and all that, you know, has a certain composition. So they say for women, a healthy fat, body fat percentage is about 20%, okay? If you, you could be 20% or 30% 30 body fat as a woman and weigh 150 pounds and you're five foot three, potentially. Depends on how much fat you're carrying on your body. When you sh when you shave that fat down, you might lose weight. More than likely, you will lose weight. But it may not be you know as drastic. But you cut your body fat by 10%. So now you're 20% body fat, and you look nice. You look toned. You you can see the muscle coming through. You look great. Weight loss is much more simpler than that. It is simply all of your mass and how much it weighs against gravity. So, I've said this before, if you go weigh yourself on the moon, you're not gonna weigh anything because there's no gravity, right? So, or if you wanna lose weight, you can cut off a hand, you've automatically lost weight. Cut off your hair, that might actually, you might lose a pound there. Um, you know, but, I, and I'm being facetious, but it's the truth. Weight can easily be manipulated if you wanted to lose weight tomorrow, you could just take a diuretic, get all the fluids out of your body, and you will lose weight. But it's not, you're not losing fat. It not, doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be um, healthier. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be fitter, right? So fat loss is, in my opinion, a better measurement for fitness. So I have a challenge going on, and you guys know I do a monthly challenge called Cinch and Inch. It's not called Cinch a Pound. It's not called called Five Pounds Down. It's none of that. It is called Cinch and Inch, and it's called that for a reason, because we are not focused on your body weight. We are focused on you losing inches. And if you lose inches in the right way, in, in the right places, you reduce your pro probability of getting a chronic disease such as diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. So we are focused on getting that body fat off of you so that you can live a fitter and healthier life, so that you can you know, play with your kids, you know, run upstairs. Because what I hear from clients when they ask me, and I ask them, what are your goals? I wanna lose weight. They always say I wanna lose weight. When I start digging a little more, it's really more than just losing weight. They want to be able to play on, with their kids. They want to be able to run with their kids. They want to be able to run a 5K. They want to be able to walk upstairs and not be out of breath, right? They want to be able to carry grocery bags and not feel exhausted. They want to be able to walk an amusement park and not have to take a break, right? And that goes beyond just the weight. A lot of that has to do with fitness. So we want to focus on losing body fat. So someone asked me, well, okay, then if that's what I need to be focused on, how do I do that? And a lot of that comes from your nutrition, guys. It always comes back to your nutrition. What you put in your mouth and the quality of the food that you put in your mouth. So all, new, all calories aren't the same. 
Some are nutrient dense and some are not. I suggest you go for the nutrient dense calories found in fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, uh, whole grains, beans, legumes, you know, um, and lean cuts of protein, the you know natural food. If it comes in a box or if it's fried up in grease or it's baked up with a bunch of sugar and processed, you know, flour and simple carbs, you might want to like put that to the side for now. And because and that's because when you are consuming food, calories, whatever, and you are not burning that off, your body will store it as fat because food in its natural state tend to be less in calories and high in nutrients, your body not only uses it, it knows what to do with it because it, there's nutrients that it wants to draw from that food. Because it's low calorie, you're more than likely to store less fat after you eat it or, you know, because it doesn't have as many calories that needs to be stored that you haven't or aren't able to burn off, just like walking to your car or walking the block. So that's why you want to focus on more natural foods. You also want to lift weights. You want to build lean muscle. When you build that lean muscle as you are, you know, getting rid of the body fat, that lean muscle comes through and it gives your body a nice shape. Now people might say, well, why didn't you say cardio first? Do a whole bunch of cardio. Because you can do a whole bunch of cardio and you will get smaller. Uh, not coupled with weightlifting, I can't say whether you're going to lose fat or lose muscle and you really don't want to lose muscle. And if that's the case, you will just be a smaller version of you. So if you are a big girl with a flat butt, you will be a smaller version of that girl with a flat butt. Especially if you are not doing weighted exercises to help develop the muscles in your glute area and in other body parts. Why I say, you know, uh, lift weights, because as you build more muscle on your frame, you actually burn more fat in your rest position, and it actually takes more calories to maintain your body. And also, as you burn the fat, you will have a nice shape. You won't just be like bleh, or like I said, a smaller version of you with no shape, because there are there is a such thing as skinny fat, right? And you don't want that. You don't want to be skinny fat because that is like a stick. That person has no shape. Their arms are smaller, but it's still flabby. There's no muscle definition. There's no tone. None of that. So that's how and why you want to, you know, lift weights. Like I said, eat protein, 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 protein. Um, because if you do, and when you do incorporate the cardio, you want to still have enough protein on your in your system such that when your body has used all the carbs for energy and the fat for energy and might go for some of that protein for energy, you have eaten enough protein such that it won't just you know continue to cannibalize your protein your your muscle and your muscle starts you know getting smaller. That's not what you want. Now, when I say that, ladies, you're not gonna look like a man, you're not gonna look like the Hulk, you're not gonna bulk up, you're not gonna be all or her. We don't have enough hormones in our bodies for that. But you do, again, it will, the muscle, the lean muscle on your body will help with that nice form. And also there's a health reason for that. As we get older, it also helps stave off the symptoms of osteoporosis and as well as the onset of osteoporosis. Um, and you know those older ladies that you see curved and everything? We don't want that. We want strong bones, bone, strong bones, bone density. The more muscle you have on your frame as you get older, ladies, the better your bone density will be, the less curved over you will be, and you can stave off the onset of osteoporosis. So you want to do that. That's just an added benefit. But body fat is where it's at. Focus on that. Um, I think you guys might remember I talked about my in-body um, body body composition uh, exam or whatever results and I had 35.2% body fat it said so I've been you know working on a body fat reduction program and I hope to have a nice reveal for you guys when it's over but I'm focusing on losing body fat as well so guess what I'm lifting more heavy weights in order to achieve that because that's what's gonna do it just focusing on a number on the scale is just very short-sighted and I get it you know all of us pretty much all of us have a scale that we have that that we own in our home to measure our body and that's the quickest and easiest measurement we can take now 
measuring yourself on a scale is valid, but it's not the only way. And measuring body fat is not as easy. I mean, I had to go downtown to a special place, get on a special machine for them to measure my body fat. And we don't have these expensive machines at home, at least I don't. And they're not wildly popular. So I get that because the scale is more readily accessible, people jump on it and like, oh my God, the scale went up. Even though my pants feel much looser, the scale went up. Who cares then what the scale says, right? What you can do though, and what I'm sure all of you have, is a 99 cent tape measure. Measure your inches, measure yourself. That will give you an indication of whether you are reducing or gaining or getting bigger because you're still storing more fat. So I think measuring yourself is inexpensive and accessible and actually probably more valid than the scale because again, the scale can fluctuate for many, many reasons. Um, and they're not all reasons that are, you know, good health related, you know? So that's why I'm like, stop focusing so much and giving it so much power over you. Focus on body fat, all right? And losing body fat. So those are my tips to help you lose your body fat so you can be fitter, have better endurance, have better body vitals, like better blood pressure, cholesterol levels, blood lipid levels, all that good stuff because I want you to have the best life ever. I want you to be great and stay great. So I want you to apply those tips, um, apply that knowledge. Let me know how that works for you. Leave a comment below of any other tips or any other topics you'd like for me to talk about. Um, I do appreciate you all day, every day. Thanks for joining me and watching me on this channel. Please subscribe, like, share this video. Tell your friends, tell your girlfriends, your church friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, everyone, because the more the merrier and sharing is caring. So with that said, uh, we will talk soon. Bye.